our boss let us use his rifle, which is fairly new to do the muzzle crown video. It probably didn't need to be done, but it just show just how easy it is to do and how you can do it on any one of your rifles at home. This muzzle is a factory muzzle. You can see it's kind of the, the, the rounded muzzle that's pretty common on uh, you know commercial rifles. Our boss has dedicated his 22 today for our, our example. So this will just slide down the bore just like that. And then as you get close, just just be careful as you as you put in your uh, expanding collet. This uh, our our little tool for tightening it is a bit of a depth gauge. You can see that I've got it set. That's about the depth you want it set. So it's going to take me a few minutes to kind of to bring this flat, and then we'll come back and show you, um, you know, in more detail how I'm operating it. We've got our zero degree face pretty much finished. You can see right here at the very edge, there's a little bit of the remaining crown left, but we're well into uh, past or below where the original crown right at the, the bore line was. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that we have this face square. As you're turning the crank handle. The crank handle itself is a little wobbly. It's just it's just the nature of how it's operating there. But if you could see the pilot down through the top here, it's perfectly immobile. So even though as I'm rotating this, it looks like the top of this is turning, it's just this handle that's that's kind of wobbling around. The cutter, the pilot are running perfectly true to the bore. The other thing, I I, I actually take this knob off. Um, and just run this with my finger. It prevents me from putting any side force on the, the assembly, which again helps keep everything aligned and perfectly true. So I'm gonna do a real quick cut just to kind of show you how our progress and also how everything is kind of lined up and everything. I use my magic marker to color, color in my muzzle face there. And for this real quick cut, I'm not gonna use any fill. You're not going to hurt anything doing that, but um, you don't want to do that for extended periods of time. So I'm just going to do a couple rotations and you can see our progress. That blue, the remaining blue face there is what we originally cut with a zero degree cutter. The cleaned away face is what we're working on right now with the 11 degree cutter. And you can see I'm not quite halfway to the outer edge. I'm probably going to bring it out maybe a little bit more than halfway to the outer edge, uh, but I want to leave a fair section of that zero degree face on there. I'm going to show you how to use the 45 degree outside chamfer tool. Um, it's not part of the regular kit, but it's probably one of the most bought add-ons. It's, it's for cutting around the outside edge. On this barrel, you'll recall, we didn't cut it, that original crown completely off. If we had, and it was, and it had come to a square edge on the barrel, that square edge would have been quite sharp. And of course you could use, you know, a little emery cloth or something like that if you wanted to, but this does make pretty quick work of it. Uh, we removed the front sight so it does not interfere and basically you're going to run this just like the other uh, cutters and it won't take too long we're just going to you know put a little 45 on the outside so with a little bit of elbow grease we've got a brand new crown on our rifle here uh, after we're finished up you know i'm just going to pull the pilot out simple easy peasy you know the brush is going to drag any chips and whatnot out but i certainly would recommend using a patch you know, or two, uh, run it through the bore. Just make sure you've got all the oil and all of the uh, chips and whatnot out of it before you use it. This kit is an awesome kit. I recommend it, I use it, and uh, I think you ought to as well.